Texas State is rapidly growing and the amount of parking spots is steadily decreasing. This means that students must find other means of transportation. As you can see, more and more students are riding their bicycles to and from school, but they must be creative in finding places to lock them up whenever racks like this are full. For Bobcat Update, I'm Danielle Rucker. Being involved in clubs and organizations throughout your college career will benefit you in many different ways. Whether it's for the experience, the friendships, or the opportunities, getting involved is always a smart idea. For Bobcat Update, I'm Danielle Rucker. The School of Journalism and Mass Communication has teamed up with Millennium Tours in order to give students the opportunity to study abroad. This trip to Great Britain will have three different stops along the way. All it takes is a quick look around campus to notice all of the illegally parked bicycles. Many students have resorted to parking their bicycles on handrails, building signs, and other areas that are not intended for bicycles. Many times, the reason is bike racks are full. Some claim Texas State is not a bicycle-friendly campus. You can't really ride through campus because it's so crowded. Like, there's just people everywhere, you know. You can't really go the speed that you should on a bike or whatever. So I, I would think that it's not really friendly at all. Other students have not encountered any issues when finding a spot to lock up their bicycles. It's just like taking the buses. If you come during, like, peak hours, it's going to be a lot harder to, you know, get through people and stuff, find proper walkways, but whenever I come, it hasn't been a problem. The University Police Department encourages students to use the designated bike racks on campus. Using the designated racks helps to ease the flow of traffic in the quad and makes it easier for people with mobility issues to use ramps. People should be um, attaching their bikes to a proper bike rack and not to um, railings, staircasings, things of that nature. Texas State is rapidly growing and the amount of parking spots is steadily decreasing. This means that students must find other means of transportation. As you can see, more and more students are riding their bicycles to and from school, but they must be creative in finding places to lock them up whenever racks like this are full. For Bobcat Update, I'm Danielle Rucker. Almost everyone on campus has some type of social media account. Facebook and Twitter are the most popular, but there are many others. They're used to connect with friends and family, and they're used for entertainment and information. They're also used for educational purposes. Some professors use social media in the classes they teach. Senior lecturer John Zmickley says being engaged with social media is vital, especially for mass communication majors. I talk about building a personal brand and engaging with the community on Twitter and on Facebook, so why wouldn't we have a class that uses those avenues. But not everyone is on the same page when it comes to social media in the classroom. For example, assistant professor Joe Falaco says social media corrupts the minds of our youth. I believe overall its influence on young people is pernicious. It is bad. It is evil. Public relations major Katie Baker says her social media experience has been invaluable. It's really cool because I'm able to make that connection with somebody and possibly get a career rolling um, in a way that would have never been possible before social media. Social media is booming. Some students and professors have embraced the idea of incorporating social media into the classroom. Others prefer to keep the two separate. Regardless of the different opinions, social media has played an imperative role in society today. For Bobcat Update, I'm Danielle Rucker. Most college students are looking for opportunities to socialize and be active. Joining a club or organization can help them accomplish these goals. There are many benefits. I always thought it was good because you can kind of find like what you're interested in more. So instead of like going into a major kind of blindly or anything, you can kind of start clubs and realize like, oh, I really like this or I don't really like that. Bobcat Promotions faculty advisor Chuck Kaufman says everyone should get involved in clubs and organizations on campus. It's a, it's a direct reflection that you're committed to the industry, you're committed to the craft, and so in many different ways it, it's a strong signal that this person has a lot of good experience and is committed to the profession. Joining clubs can help students make connections with potential employers. Being involved in clubs and organizations throughout your college career will benefit you in many different ways. Whether it's for the experience, the friendships, or the opportunities, getting involved is always a smart idea. For Bobcat Update, I'm Danielle Rucker.